In a select number of patients who come to me for a tummy tuck, they actually have not so much skin excess that they really need a full tummy tuck. And in fact, in some of those patients, we can perform a mini tummy tuck uh, under local anesthesia. And the idea really is just to get rid of a little bit of the extra skin uh, below the belly button. Um, usually best candidates for this procedure are patients for whom the excess skin is really localized to just below the belly button and they don't have a lot of it. Um, in those patients, a mini tummy tuck works well. I can place the incision very low and the idea is to take out a little bit of that skin um, below the belly button, kind of um, tighten things up below uh, and really leave the belly button alone so that things heal quite quickly. Uh, procedure itself usually takes about an hour and a half, uh, as mentioned before, done under, under local anesthesia. Um, and um, it's designed to be limited so that patients can recover quite quickly. Um, in terms of the um, post-op recovery, it is, there's some dressings on the area um, after surgery as always. Um, I usually do still like to have patients wear a compression garment um, for about two to six weeks afterward. Occasionally I will have some drains, um, which are tubes that are put underneath the skins to remove any fluid that can accumulate in the first couple of weeks. Uh, if that's the case, the drains come out usually about a week or so after surgery. Um, and then I follow them out for a couple of months to make sure that the scars continue to improve. Usually they can go back to um, all their forms of exercise at about six weeks, um, which includes uh, lifting heavy things, uh, going back to the gym. Um, overall, it's a very select number of patients that can be candidates for the procedure, but for those patients, it, it, um, it works very well.